This video is sponsored by Enlisted. Today, I'm going to try to beat Total Warhammer 3 using only dinosaurs. Now, obviously, we're going to be doing this with the Lizardmen in Immortal Empires. And I think we're going to be using Krotgar. There isn't really an obvious choice for this one, but Krotgar does have some minor bonuses that will affect our campaign slightly. The upkeep reduction for armies led by Soros Oldbloods will be very helpful, as will a couple of his other perks here. And one more thing, I'm also not going to be using the traditional variant of the Stegodons, not the basic ones. I'm going to be using the Feral Stegodon and all the ancient Stegodons, but not the normal Stegodon with a big old artillery piece on its back, because I feel like that one is so far removed from being just a dinosaur sword that it's it doesn't even count and uh let's get started we're on very hard campaign and battle difficulty as always and for a good little while here we are going to be going against the skaven we are sandwiched by them they're skaven above and below us although there isn't a traditional like army here there's there's not a normal like starting army to go against for some reason in this campaign uh we're going to be getting rid of you which is kind of sad because this would be a very good caster and help our armies so much and we're also going to be getting rid of all of these guys getting rid of the blessed saurus warriors hurts oh 69 weapon strength oh it hurts so bad to get rid of them but i'm going to i'm going to we, we have two units including our lord here now uh, long term, we do have some really good options, the best of which is the Blessing of Itzil, which will reduce our upkeep pretty much across the board by 20%. We'll be building up this income building, and then next turn, once we get rid of this, we'll be going for the Taming Pen, which is going to be great for getting us some Feral Bastilladons. Unfortunately, until we hit Tier 3, we're only going to be getting Feral Bastilladons, unless, of course, we can get a Rite of Primeval Glory, which would be really good for us to get early on, if we can afford it. And this is actually a main settlement, so it will be a little bit difficult to take here. We're going to be going for the control points because, I mean, we have to here. We have one unit plus our lord who is not leveled up at all. We have a meat battering ram here to begin with, so quite convenient for getting through gates. We could kill the Skaven Slave Slingers and all of that, but I, I don't want to risk getting caught up by all the Claimrat Spears. That would be very bad for us. Uh, they're not actually trying to stop us. Why? Oh, these guys are. These guys are coming to stop us, but these guys aren't. Do I want to go straight for this, or do I want to stop them? I'll try going straight for this, because... Wait, did they just stop? They just stopped. They just stopped moving forward. Why... Why Why have you stopped? You're just watching them take your control point? Uh, I will actually fight them for at least a bit after I take this. It would be too cheesy to just not fight them at all, but... What the fuck, man? Why are they not... Why are they not coming for it? Let's take a quick look at this. Oh my god! Oh, we just bowled them over. We bowled all of them over. Oh, that's so cool. We're just tossing them. Yeeting them. Oh! Oh, that Stegodon is so brutal. Oh my god, the blood flying out of its tail. Well, not out of its tail, but off of its tail after it hits them. God damn. That was embarrassing. They just didn't even try. <laughs> we occupy that. For now, we can recruit zero units. We have no options. Uh, it will be one turn to deconstruct this, and then four turns to build this, until we can even just get basic Feral Bastilladons. Uh, other than that, though, we're just going to be basically AFK for like four or five turns here. <laughs> it's now turn six, and we have accomplished absolutely nothing other than saving up for a Rite of Primeval Glory. That's a lot of Stegodons, only one Carnosaur, unfortunately. I was hoping for more of them. Uh, we do have 378 gold per turn income after that, which is not really a lot at all. Uh, we're gonna yoink these units, and then we should have a little more than that. We should have, like, five, six hundred after we have only one army again. Ooh, 700, 700. That was 100% worth it then. That's crazy. All right, nice. Now we have a good army. Not a great army. Obviously not optimal, but not bad at all. Where are you? Probably down here. I remember Clay and Morbius, actually. I remember them being down here. How do they have no wars? That's weird. They're, like, right next to these guys, the Order of Lore Masters. Uh, I don't need that at all. I have no benefit from Winds of Magic. At least not now, so fine, we'll leave them be. Which way to go? I know that there are some vampire accounts up here, uh, but down here I know for sure that there's an ally. And I also know for sure that these guys are pretty strong. 100% ambush success chance? That's crazy. We don't even have any points into that yet. We have zero points in the Ancient Cunning and 100% ambush success chance. Alright, so we'll go down there then. There is an army in here. So the plan is that we eat them. That is the plan. Even our herbivores. They can always eat meat. They might not digest it. They may just, you know, throw it up afterwards but they can still technically get it down. Oh, that jump attack. 
That was awesome. Uh, they didn't really charge that super well, though. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, we'll just charge this. We'll just charge this while they're doing this. Okay, just, just keep, just keep staying there. Keep being one big blob of Skaven. Fight these guys, alright? They're all you need to worry about. Don't even slightly consider the gigantic horde of dinosaurs coming to kill you all. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's normal. That's always happening. Oh, the meat tanks. Oh my god. It seems like dinosaurs might be better than Skaven slaves. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. I think we need more testing. That's nice, that's nice. And then we have the big old blob here, our summoned unit there, and uh, we gotta get these guys back into the middle. We, we can't just have them running off to the sides like that. When the enemy infantry turns into liquid, at least in terms of the physics of the way they're moving, that is when you know you're doing well. These are not happy Skaven. These are very unhappy rats right here. Oh my god. All of them are routing. They are shit. These, these are mostly Skaven slaves, but still. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Awesome. 45 uh, armor-piercing weapon damage. That's cool for whoever gets that. Probably Krokgar because he's our only <laughs> lord or hero for the moment. And ooh, golden idols down here. That'll be cool. And we also have some exotic animals. I think that'll allow us to get the units that we're currently summoning. I don't think they'll be worth it most likely, but they might be worth a shot at least. Hopefully these guys aren't going to be too hard to deal with. Let me actually see how many more settlements they have. Because I am a little worried that these guys are going to push in from up here. I could get sandwiched. That would be bad. Uh, only two more. Okay, and these guys only have three. Do I want to get a second lord? I think I do. All right, so we're going to grab him. We're going to toss just a couple of units here. Not too much of my balance of power. And these guys are going to go back here and defend this. Having even just... Three dinosaurs plus a level one lord in this settlement with this garrison will be enough to repel pretty much any attack these guys could throw at me. I, I'm pretty confident on that. Here, 12 units should also be enough because we did deal with their uh, army there. Okay, so they have pretty much like 10 units of spears, 9 or 10. That is more than I'd like to deal with. I'll probably send the Carnosaur over to the control point, maybe like one or two Stegodons as well. And then if we can't capture that, that's fine. We should win this, but we will take damage. Uh, the Night Runners are not shooting me, which is weird because we have quite a large target here. <laughs> They're getting stuck on each other. I don't... Yeah, there's no shot they can all hit the gate at once. Ideally, we'd go for the control points, but it's not physically possible to get there right now. Um, there's just too many units in between us and there. Very nice. Not too much damage because, once again, they have no way to really damage us with our armor. Come on, just... Why, why are we not killing their Warlord? I don't think the Carnosaurs attacked him once, honestly. Oh, they still have 2,000 remaining. They still have 2,000. They're all shit, though. They should route soon. Oh my god, it's just taking so long. If we had any abilities at all, even an Ark of Sotek, this would have taken so much less time. Because our DPS is, is quite low. It is very low. 600 out of 5,000, and they're still fighting. Holy shit. They do have that one unit of Nightrunner slings that are fresh. I think that's why. I think that's their entire balance of power now. And now we finally fucking win. Buy the victory tickets, man. That is ridiculous. I mean, look at this. There were so many rats that we physically couldn't get to the fucking control points for the first half of this battle. And then after that, I assumed like, oh, they've got to concede soon. They've got to concede soon. They've got to get the army losses soon. But they didn't. They just didn't. We want that. Yes, please. We already have some trading partners, so that'll be incredibly profitable for us. Oh. Well, that's very convenient, and we win that uh, in auto-resolve. But they only have one unit of spears, and they are Skaven Slave Spears, so I'm not particularly afraid. Oh no, they do have the Clan Rat Spears too, but only one unit of them as well. They're going down, we charge right through their front line there. Although, calling it a real front line is... Eh, a bit generous. Oh, those Feral Cold ones are awesome. They're not the best, but they're just fun to use. Get him, get their lord! Get him! They're only Skaven Slaves, just push through them! Just push through them! You're doing it! You're doing it! Get him! Oh my god, he's so slow. He's so slow. No, don't run around him. Just fucking hit him. Just hit him. Hit him. No. No. That's more damage than I would have liked to take, but they are wiped out now, so that's great. Oh yeah, they... Oh, they're going over there. That's annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. Fuck off, man. If they could come back down here, try and attack this, and then I can ambush them, that would be great. No point in going back, it's just, it's gonna take us like four or five turns to get all the way back there, so I think we just move forward here. Oh yes, you're backing off, thank you, you annoying little shit. 
Ah, uh, another day, another 5,000 Skaven to kill. Unfortunately, the auto-resolve here is not great, so we are going to fight this manually. It is a land battle, just a normal land battle, which is just generally better than a settlement battle. Okay, so they're all just hiding on the other side of this hill, which is actually good because we can charge downhill into them. They keep summoning onto Krokgar, and he just keeps getting away. I don't know why they're doing this. There we go, there we go. They're running away. They're not firing at all on our actual units. That is great. Quite blobby, but also quite good here. Come on, get onto that Grace here. Get onto him. Either route him or kill him. Uh, the Assassin is just running around everywhere. I don't, I don't really know what he's doing. He's just going back and forth. Uh, you try and kill him if possible. My guy ate a little too much Warpstone and thought he was going to assassinate a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, that's not going to work too well. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. It's such a clusterfuck in here. I, I, I cannot see anything valuable. I have no idea what's actually happening. God, I do love the Bastilodons. That 140 armor, they can just stay in melee forever. That is a real chonker right there. Oh, oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. I think he actually ate one of them in the process of that, it looked like. I mean, he's a herbivore, but still. Uh, how have they not routed? Oh, that's... They have. Six-year-old me would be absolutely losing his shit if he saw this. I loved dinosaurs as a kid, man. <laughs> Although this would be a little gory for <laughs> that age group. Today's sponsor, Enlisted, is also something that six-year-old me would lose his shit over, but definitely should not be allowed to play. Enlisted is a free-to-play multiplayer shooter set in World War II where you control an entire squad of soldiers. It's both historically authentic and super fun to play with all sorts of realistic weapons and vehicles from planes to tanks for you to wreak havoc with. My favorite has got to be the flamethrower. That bad boy can clear a trench in five seconds flat. The best part is that you're never forced into playing a single class. Instead, you can literally play as four different classes at once, swapping between each soldier in your squad depending on what you need at any given time, in either PvP or PvE battles. You can try Enlisted free today on PC or current or previous generation PlayStation and Xbox consoles. You can also get some free bonuses, including three days of premium time to get you started by clicking my sponsored link in the description. Big thanks to Enlisted for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to those dinosaurs. Uh, here we should unlock one more option in the feral cold ones. Now, the downside of these guys is that they're bad. The upside of these guys is that they have AP and they're somewhat fast-ish and they actually do have good armor, but everything other than that, they're not very good. This is still a very good building to have and this will eventually reduce our upkeep by 3% for pretty much all of our dinosaurs. So I, I will start building this right away. It's also a good trade good. Uh, there's some more lizard boys here. I might be able to confederate them. Not yet, at all. My god, they don't like me very much. But now, we have, theoretically, hopefully, possibly, no threats to our south, or over here for at least a little while, until Norgal comes to knock him, which they actually probably won't. They don't usually do very well. And over here, we just have, well, two quite major issues. But other than those two major issues, we're doing great. I don't know if there's any point in recruiting a couple more units here. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. We'll try that. Oh, we could go for this. We could speed up our recruitment a bit here and also just get higher rank units. I think that's worthwhile. Uh, we do have enough gold for that. And we don't have too much to spend our gold on right now. Uh, okay, they're just going back and forth. Dead even. We're actually in our favor balance of power now. What do we need for our short campaign victory? I usually check that way earlier. Uh, we need to wipe these guys out. That's pretty obvious. Uh, we do actually need to wipe out the Drakenhof Conclave. Honestly, I don't think that'll be very hard. And the Silver Host, they're all the way up here. I'm going to go aggressive here. I'm going to recruit three more units. And the next turn, I'm going to attack this. We've got to really bump up our replenishment across the board. We're not getting very much. We are getting something like 5% baseline replenishment here. That is unacceptably shit. I'm willing to risk this. Oh, and it paid off. Holy shit, we fucking auto-resolved that. Yeah, I knew that this was just Skaven Slaves uh, because of the balance of power. It was so bad. Still thinking about it? Actually, no, you'd be really annoying to fight. I'm going to auto-resolve it. That is painful, but I'm willing to accept it. Why does the medicine production not increase our casualty replenishment here? Not even a little bit. Not attacking me. Not even trying to. That's a good sign because we are recovering a lot. I can see the army because of the quest. They're all the way over here. Why the fuck are they there? They are in a war there. They are in another war there. Why are they in another war? That's really stupid. They're going to die. <laughs> so I'll probably go for both of these at the same time. Uh, just to make it a little faster. And I don't think they even got an army back into here, did they? No. No. I mean, I can still see the army just over here. 
One good thing about this uh, challenge is that we don't have to worry about not having siege attackers. Ever. <laughs> Every single one of our fucking units is a siege attacker. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ooh, ooh, this is a slightly higher tier garrison than I expected. Uh, we might be doing a little bit of cheese here. Because these are almost all spears with shields, which are actually pretty dangerous. And especially the halberds, those will fucking hurt. And all of you are just going to charge these poor clam rats. There they are. These guys are going to be in for a rough time. Second Triceratops coming in. Oh, man. And they're gone. They're gone. They've got a route here. Yep, they're gone. Usually I blame the Skaven very much for their cowardice, but that can be excused. Mass times velocity equals lots of dead Skaven. Even if we had to fight this to the death, we would win. So I don't feel too bad about cheesing, because it really is trying to use the game as it's intended. Like, I'm supposed to be able to do this, and then they're supposed to send their units to stop me. The problem is that they don't send their units to stop me. And they're done. <laughs> Not tier 3, unfortunately, but tier 2. And it already has one of the buildings that we need, which is great. We can probably just attack these guys, and also these guys. I mean, there are other factions that we could fight, but I don't think any of them make as much sense as just going up here right away, because this is good territory for us. All of this territory is, like, mediocre or bad. Actually, not the stuff down here, but all the stuff up here is mediocre or bad. And you've decided to die, or... Oh, God, they're just gonna encircle me, aren't they? They're being cringe. They really shouldn't do that when they are taking attrition. W wait, they encircled, they moved their hero, and now they're attacking? Fine, question mark, I I guess. Oh man, just knocked him on his ass. He had like two-thirds of his health left, but he was just so terrified. Alright, we took about zero damage there. Shit, they are actually encircling me here. Oh, that's a lot of attrition and no replenishment. That sucks. We are going to manually fight this. That is high casualties, close victory. I don't like that. Oh, that is awesome. I really love the animations for these guys. Good. A lot of their range units are just coming into the blobs. Their lord is very, very nearly dead. No, I didn't mean to do that order. Okay, one more attack from Krokgar. He is down. Where are you, army losses? They're at 300 out of 2,500, and they're dead. So many goddamn Skaven slaves that we have had to just chop through here. Well, we're finally getting to the end of them, and we can just chase them down. Okay, good. And source warriors with shields. Wow, that's awesome. We can't use them at all. <laughs> Ooh, rank 10, rank 10, yes, Blessing of Itzel. Minus 20% upkeep across the board, plus our existing minus 15%. Two more turns and we get Lightning Strike as well, and also this will increase our leadership quite significantly, both during ambushes and in general. We have like 600 more gold per turn now. That is really good. Yeah, we just kill you guys. Straight up, quite simple. Because Krokgar has a bonus to recruit rank, and our second lord is really close to hitting level 10 and getting that 20% upkeep reduction, I swapped all of my units away from Krokgar's army into our second lord's army, then had Krokgar sit in the Temple of Skulls to globally recruit some of the Basilidon variants, while our other lord went up to attack the Tomb Kings. Uh, the Revivification Crystal could be good... Eventually, I'll probably get some, but right now it's not the priority. Should be able to reach that next turn and also be mostly recovered, and then one turn of uh, sitting in here and we will be 100% recovered. They are stronger than us, but none of their armies are stronger than our armies. That's something that I'm willing to bet on. I think that I'm going to end this episode off by poking the bear. And by the bear, I mean the undead bear that is actually a weird snake thing that is probably going to kill me. <laughs> I just want their fucking territory, man. It's the only good territory available to me, other than that these guys control, which if I take this, then I probably have to deal with these guys long term, and that fucking sucks. I don't want to do that. I am really just so excited to get all those different Bastilidon variants. They're going to be so fun. It'll be a while until we can get to another one of their settlements. Um, yeah, obviously, on resolve. Talisman of Endurance, that's pretty cool. Two more ranks, and then we get that 20% reduction on this guy as well. That'll be super awesome for us. Also, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Enlisted, to take part in beautifully chaotic World War II era battles, where you can construct fortifications, blow up enemy vehicles, and control an entire squad of soldiers. Sign up free using my link in the description to get three days of premium time. Yeah, so that'll be all for now. Big thanks to my patrons and YouTube members, as well as the moderators of the Discord. You guys have been incredibly helpful in just setting everything up and getting everything working. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I'm hoping to get the second episode of this series out next Saturday. Peace out.